Hello, and welcome back to the first ever payload tutorial on Hammer. I'm not even kidding. There are no tutorials on YouTube out here to do this, so I'm going to do it. We're just going to be making a simple test map. Um, so go ho go ahead and open up Hammer. And I almost forgot. If this is your first time doing Hammer, do not be looking at this tutorial. Do simple tutorials first. I'm not going to teach how to do simple stuff. I'm going to do go straight into the advanced. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. News, that. Actually, that's not. I need texture. Okay. So, go ahead and put down. I'm just going to do simple map. I'm going to go ahead and put down a block. Create object. Second, let me just go ahead and open up my dev textures. Actually, as I remember, dev ground is supposed to be to gray. It's easier to see. Where is it? There it is. Okay, so that's a simple ground. Um, so let's go ahead and I'll I'm gonna quickly just go ahead and do this. You might want to skip the video skip through the video a few minutes in or so. Depending on when I actually start. Sorry about this, I probably should have created a test map earlier. Okay. Alright, let's just start with that. Here, actually, let me just put one more wall on the side. We'll go ahead. Okay. I'm going to put this over here. Oops. There we go. Now I've got a box. Boxy boxy. Um, okay, so let's just jump straight into it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add a player spawn. Oh, and you might be wondering why he looks all funny. It's because he I downloaded a mod that adds makes it easier to see what's what. You can shoot a little NG. And I can really scary. Really, really scary. That makes it scary. It's a use for the eyes of an engineer. <laughs> Oh wow, that's actually really creepy. <laughs> okay, um, so I've stopped in that. So, first, I'm going to go ahead and build. I think the first step is to build the payload track. So, go ahead and open up properties. Open up prop underscore static. Hit apply. World model. We're going to want to go ahead and do just all. And then we're going to type in track. And then you should scroll down for a bit and you'll find these type of tracks here. These are the ones you want. So I'm going to go ahead and select a really big one right here. Apply. Go ahead and rotate it. Control M. And there's one piece of track. So. Congratulations, you made your first piece of track. Um, so then you just do whatever, it depends on what your, um, whatever, what landscape you're dealing with. I've just got flat, so it's fine. And then, uh, why don't you go ahead and add a turn or something? Copy it one more time. Oops. God damn it. Hey, when this does that. Double click on it. And we're going to go ahead and add a turn or something. There's a turn. No, it's over here somewhere. Right here. There's a 90 degree turn. Yep. 
apply. Okay. And it's floating off the ground, I think. Nope. It's just really... I'd recommend turning on a grid. Okay. There we go. Um, so I'm not going to work on completely just making it perfect. But let's go ahead and oops. In there. Fit it. I don't know how it's possible to fit these track pieces together. Like, I don't. If anybody knows, that'd be great. Tell me. So we got a turny turn, turn a turn. And yeah, you still might want to skip a little bit into the video just until I get into the really complicated stuff. Because, you know, it's boring watching someone just set up the stuff. But basically, once you've got your track set up, I'll teach you how to do the track path and then the new train. Then so on and so forth. Z, okay. There you go, some track. You can do a full loop actually. Sorry about this. <laughs> I really am. I probably really should have started with doing this before you guys. Um, Alright, let's just. I'm going to go ahead and add a hill here. Just to sit down. I can show you how to do this later. God damn it. Stop glitching out. I hate hammer sometimes, I really do. So, go ahead and I'll add a block tool. Just for a bit. That's way too low. And also, it's in the wrong direction. So yeah, basic help, right? Yeah. It's like when we have more grid. Or less of it, I should say. Oh my god. Okay, let's create object. There we go. So, clip this in half. No, I got it from the wrong side, damn it. There we go. Okay. Almost done, almost done. I'm sorry. I really am. Don't get mad at me. Please. Okay, up and down. Just to show you how to do that. I'm gonna. Uh, okay, one sec. Let me make that shorter. All right. Yeah, yeah. Stop complaining. You know. You're mad, just wait one sec, let me see how far I'm. Uh let's see. Oh, nine minutes. That's how long. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and just finish doing the track and then I'll see you on the next video. Part two. Part one was basically useless. So yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that.